UFC 310 is surprisingly stacked, and I'm excited to dive into each matchup. We'll be going through all 14 fights from the main event to the early prelims. Let's get started. First up, reigning flyweight champion Alexandre Pantoja of Brazil, a minus 285 favorite, defends his title against Japanese challenger Kai Asakura, a plus 230 underdog. What makes this fight interesting is Asakura's UFC debut, coming from Risen FF and his aggressive style. If he can pull off a sensational knockout, he'll instantly boost his UFC profile and become a Japanese superstar opening up more opportunities for the UFC in Japan. The co-main event is Ian Machado Gary vs. Shavkat Rachmonov. Both fighters are undefeated and someone's zero has got to go. I'm not a fan of Ian, but I think Shavkat will likely dominate, possibly with a chokeout in the first or second round. This is actually the fight I'm most excited about. Cyril Gain vs. Alexander Volkov is another notable matchup. Both heavyweights are highly skilled, athletic, and have great endurance. They move like lightweights, making this a compelling fight. Bryce Mitchell, a favorite of mine, faces Crone Gracie. I think Bryce will take this one and Crone might be on his way out of the UFC. Crone's been disappointing, and many feel he doesn't represent the Gracie name well. However, I've noticed Bryce has lost some momentum after getting knocked out by Josh Emmett and choked out by Ilya Tapuria. He had a high-pressure fighting style that I loved, but it's unclear if he's regained his form. Next, we have Nate Landwehr versus Duho Choi. Honestly, I'm not familiar with either fighter, so this might be a good time to grab a snack. Moving on to the prelims, which are just as solid as the main card. Headlining the prelims is Dominic Reyes versus Anthony Smith. Both guys typically engage in competitive fights, but sometimes Anthony Smith seems to mentally quit. I agree with the betting odds, taking Reyes to win. Vicente Luque versus Themba Garimbo is another intriguing matchup. Originally, Luque was set to face Nick Diaz, but unfortunately, Nick had to withdraw due to personal issues reportedly related to addiction. It's sad to see Nick struggling, and I hope he gets the help he needs. There have been rumors about his addiction, and a recent video of him trying to light a bush on fire in public is concerning. The UFC can't trust him to show up anymore, and his unprofessional behavior, combined with addiction, might be the end of his UFC career. I'll be rooting for him to get back on track. As for this fight, I don't know much about Garimbo, but I'm always excited to see Vicente Luque in the octagon. He's a veteran who's always down to scrap, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he brings to this matchup. Next up is Movsar Evloev vs. Aljamain Sterling. I like seeing a familiar face and ex-champion in the octagon, but to be honest, Sterling isn't known for being an exciting fighter, which feels weird to say about a champion with some title defenses under his belt. Randy Brown vs. Brian Battle is another exciting matchup. I'm not crazy about Randy Brown, but I do like Brian Battle. He's a finisher with an exciting fighting style, and his last four wins were all finishes. Chris Weidman vs. Eric Anders has me nervous, given Weidman's past leg injury. I'll be watching this one with my hand over my eyes. The early prelims include Cody Durden vs. Joshua Van. Honestly, I'm not too excited about this one. Michael Chiesa versus Max Griffin should be a good fight. Both guys are veterans who aren't afraid to throw down. Clay Guaida versus Chase Hooper is an interesting matchup. Guaida's a favorite of mine, but Hooper's talented. He just looks like he's still growing into his body. I mean, he doesn't look like he's gone through puberty yet. He resembles the kid from Zombieland to me. Despite his youthful appearance, Hooper's got some serious skills, and I'm curious to see how he fares against a veteran like Guida. Finally, Kennedy and Zaychukwu vs. Lukash Brzezki kicks off the early prelims. I'm not familiar with either fighter, but if something cool happens, they'll definitely grab my attention. That's my breakdown of UFC 310. 
Let me know in the comments who you're most excited to see fight. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more MMA content. Chill. Thank you for kicking in with MMA Flex and Chill. Chill. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell, ring the bell.